Arjuna, and I am lovely to meet you. This is Pooja Talwar from Good Times. And uh, let me tell you, so, you know, your character Solomon, I read the book, and if I had imagined him to be anyone, it would have been you. What? So what, what was it like to basically, you know, get into this character from the paper into flesh and blood on screen? Because yeah. he's a man, you know, who knows what he wants, wants to do what he wants, but people wouldn't let him. So what was that like for you? Boy, um, it was a fully encompassing experience, right? There's so many points of contact that I have with Solomon's character and his story um, and his family's story. So a lot of ways, uh, me tapping into my own personal experience as a Korean American immigrant uh, in New England, um, my family's history as well, um, all of that were points of contact for me, or points of entry for me to get into this character. And then on another, uh, from another angle as well, the technical aspect of his fluency in Japanese in both Kansai dialect and Tokyo dialect. Um, and his, uh, uh, he has a slight Japanese accent in his Korean. Um, all of those things were keys for me to try to get into and inhabit who Solomon is, because especially the language part, I feel like the way we speak and the way we communicate, how I use my hands when I talk, what's my music, you know, in my voice when I'm speaking, all of that stuff, I think, points to um, the behavior of a of person, a history of a person, how they learn to speak, where they learn to speak, who they usually speak to, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of those things uh, go into building a character's existence. And um, so there was sort of like infinite number of threads that I could follow to to get into Solomon because this is the first character I've ever gotten to play that is so close to who I am and who who my family or what my family has experienced. And your character Naomi has been written for the show because in the book we had another character, but like Solomon too, she is also trying to fight against not fight. I mean, she feels she fits into the system, but people wouldn't allow her. She's a woman who's trying to, you know, make her place in a man's world. So how did you delve into this character? Um, well, I talked to my mom because she was working around the, eight, uh, the late 80s, and she's been through very similar um, experiences. And it's, it was really mind blowing to find out that women were expected to only work for about three, four years and they were treated, uh, they have this metaphor where they call them Christmas cakes where they're only desirable until they're around 25 and otherwise, you know, you're off of the shelf. Um, and so learning about that uh, really helped. And I talked to my mom's friends as well and read books about the women who tried to, um, who helped establish the equal employment opportunity law in Japan. So um, yeah, that's that's how I prepared for it. And there was an interesting line that she says, I'd rather be with the under accomplished than, you know, when Solomon tells her why is she there she is. I, and I, I find out that line says, says a lot. But yeah. also, uh, you know, I'm calling you Solomon because you are Solomon for me. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, the question I want to ask you is, what was it like working with Miss Yoon? She's a textbook when it comes to acting, and yes. you are perhaps a co-star here. Yes, I, that's exactly what I've been saying too. She's she was a masterclass in acting every time I got to work with her. Um, she's incredibly generous, I would say, as a scene partner as well. Uh, incredibly easeful, um, and at the same time, really enthusiastic. We would have conversations. You know, if we just did a take, if they said cut, we'd be like, okay, what did you think about that? <laughs> like, what are your thoughts on this? Because you know, sometimes with screen, there's not enough time to really like rehearse things beforehand. We really just show up on the day and then we figure it out with the director and the DP. Um, and she was so lovely to work with. And, um, you know, all my grandparents have passed away. So it, it, oh, it sort of naturally feels like now that she got to play my grandmother and I feel oh. that uh, uh, closeness to her. I get that. And lastly, both of you through your work have tried to eliminate the stereotypes of Asian representation. Now, do you feel going forward with narratives and, you know, characters like this, you'll be able to? I think um, it'll still take time, but it's slowly starting to open up. We're slowly getting more opportunities because of the people that came before us, the actors that have paved the way. So I hope that I'll be able to 
um, what is it like join in that mm -hmm. and um, create more opportunities for the other generations to yeah. come. Absolutely. Yes, to absolutely. Yeah, I completely agree. I think this is a huge step in that that journey, but we still have a long way to go, obviously. And every, I think the more content, the better, because the more of our humanity we can show as Asian Americans or Asian people, the better, because we are, it's, it's just the question of our humanity is never, or our humanity is often not a given in conversations. Do you know what I mean? We always have to sort of stand up for our humanity or fight for our, uh, are worth to be human in storytelling. Um, and I think a, a production like this, where predominantly the stories are all about East Asian people, it's it's very exciting. And I think it, it certainly helps the cause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.